Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. We have a bit of an issue. I mean, we just cleaned it up, but there was a puddle uh, like under the refrigerator kind of coming out into this area last night. Whenever we walked into the, the kitchen, we were like, hmm, that seems bad, so we cleaned it up, kind of assuming that we would find it again. And this morning, we have. Uh, there was another puddle that was, um, you know, about the same. So we opened up the refrigerator, opened up the freezer, looked and see if there was anything it looked like to us that was causing this, and we, could, we didn't see anything. I mean, there were some ice cubes in the freezer that were not in the tray. They were just kind of like scattered about, but they're in the freezer where it's cold, where they shouldn't melt. So we got rid of those. I don't think that's going to make a difference, but <sighs> we have to keep our eye on it. I don't know if maybe the fridge is failing or if there's something going wrong. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, we'll just keep an eye on it and hopefully won't have any more problems. Although realistically, we haven't solved anything, so we probably will. Anyway, um, today the weather's actually pretty dang nice. It's so nice we might go for a walk. But it's also a nice day uh, to deal with the fire ant nest that's in the backyard. It's been there for uh, a little bit, and to be honest, we actually did really good this summer. Like, last summer, we took care of fire ants so consistently that this summer, we, we did we see any? None. None. I, I had been checking, too. We saw none. That's incredible. Um, just because we were so on it last year. So this is the first fire ant nest that we've seen in like an entire year. And um, I'm going to make it go away. Great. I may have just poured poison all over my shoes. It's not that I didn't think that through. It's that I really thought it would go a little more smoothly than that. Wait, are we sure they're in here? Yeah, I already poked it yesterday. Did you poke it today? Maybe they moved out. Yeah. yeah, they are. That's just not very much. They're real um, like tired. It's because it's cold. Oh, they're moving a little slow. That's right, rise and shine. It goes deep in there. Wow. Do you see that? Yeah. See how far down that yeah. went? Holy crap. That's fun. Anyway, I'm trying to die. And hopefully, I didn't wind up with any. Uh, on my body. That's more than you need, but uh, when you only have one to deal with, you might as well just like use it. <laughs> what? What? Huh? What? Sagan left. He didn't want to see you. Yeah, you're sweet. You're sweet, honey. <laughs> What? <laughs> you following me? Not when you hear a sound. For dinner tonight, we're doing another special thing because uh, we just had a special thing and tonight we're having a special thing and I forget what it is, but tomorrow we're having a special thing too. It's, um, it's, a, it's a series of food called It Cold Outside! And we want some, some hot stuff. So tonight, um, we are making jambalaya. And I'm really excited. Mal just finished cutting up the uh, andouille sausage. This is starting to heat up. We've got all the stuff laying out here, and uh, I'm really excited. Now, is this a this like a, a recipe that we've done before? I believe we have. This is I, the same one I've done. Okay, because I know we've made jambalaya before. Yeah. Oh, I lost one. <laughs> They're fully cooked. It's not like raw meat flying everywhere. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. Careful. Hot is hot. Something splashed and got me. That's what it was. There's also oil in said pot, which is also hot. Four. Two more. It's like hunting for a prize at sawdust days. A prize? So, I grew up in an area that's known for paper. Um, Kimberly, which is where Kimberly Clark comes from. Yeah. They make a lot of paper products. And they have a festival in the summer called Sawdust Days. And there's a thing they do for kids at Sawdust Days where they put a bunch of sawdust on the ground and bury things in it, like quarters. And you buy a ticket and then you get to hunt through the sawdust to find things. That's the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. 
but it's also about it. but it's I mean I believe you it's just bizarre it's it's interesting where's the last one yeah that's six for six and that means the jambalaya is done that looks amazing it's a bit thinner than normal normally it's uh, less liquidy but I also did something slightly different huh what'd because you change I didn't take the top off when the shrimp are cooking I left it covered Keep it. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's a little bit more soupy than normal. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Is it really hot? It's hot. I mean, it seems hot, but also it probably should. It just finished up. Is the flavor good? Mm-hmm. I know it sounded like you were a little disappointed. It was thinner, but I don't think it's like such a bad thing. I can see why you blew on it so much. This is actually very hot. Really, really, really hot. It's good. It is good. It's good. And, um, you know, it's been a little chilly lately, so doing these nice warm meals is good. I mean, today it was actually kind of warm. Yeah. Kind of warm. We, uh, you know, we obviously took care of the, um, the fire ants earlier. We also sprayed around the house for bugs. And we went on a little walk, too, just because it was kind of warm. Um, I don't know how many more days we're going to get like this until the end of winter. We could get a warm spell, you know, at some point, and be able to take a little walk outside. That would be nice. But, um, you know, if it, if it stays real, real cold, then we may not be able to do that. So, we'll see. And there's always this. And there's always hot cocoa. So, winter won't be so bad. I just wish it wouldn't get dark so early. Mm -hmm. That's the part I hate. I feel more alive when there's daylight around, so... That's the only part that I wish I could change. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?